We're here at the Tornos factory in Moutier, Switzerland, with David Dunn from Premier Machine Tools. Now, David, you're meant to explain to me today how it's not actually that complicated to program a multi-spindle machine. Why is that? Well, with the machine we stood in front of here, the 826, you've got eight spindles, nine with a counter spindle, and on each of those spindles you have two or three axes. So yes, it does sound complicated, it does sound a lot to get hold of and, and understand. In principle, what we do is to break that down into groups of axes and, and spindles. So we've got, in effect, eight or nine, two or three axis machines that we're programming individually for each process on the part. Okay, let's have a look at one of these programs then, because so, I still don't believe you yet. So if I, if I click on the uh, enter button, here we're, we're running uh, the TB Deco software. Okay. I want to maximize that, thanks. So what this shows us here is the operation lines for each um, cluster of spindles and, and axes. So is it S11, S17, S17, 16? So these are the exactly. different, the different, the different spindles, spindles. With the different axes uh, associated with them. And on each operation line, we have these icons which represent the process that's being, uh, being performed. So if we open that up, inside that we have the standard ISO coding, G code, so G1, G2, G3, So it's actually quite a simple, there's only a couple of lines in, 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 this, in this icon. Process, yeah, yeah, right, okay, yeah. So actually, so it's about splitting up into bite-sized chunks that you yeah. can understand in isolation. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, so, so here we're back at the, the main screen. So we see the, the icons, as we saw them previously, with the operations and the ISO coding is behind that. Once we've generated the complete program, we go to generate, and that then generates a the program for the machine and it stretches or squashes the icons dependent on the length or the duration of the operation so it gives us a visual idea of how long the operations are. So is this predicting the cycle time? This gives us an accurate cycle time so we see it down here so 0.7 parts per minute this is quite a, a lengthy component uh, normally you'd be looking at, at you know, 30, 20, 30 yeah, parts yeah, per minute. Yeah. But this being a demonstration I guess you don't want to get too through material too much. No exactly exactly. So, um, as I say, yeah, so you can optimize in the program is very simple with the software as well, that you can visually see what operations take the long, longest amount of time, and then you can look to see whether you can split those out over different spindles. It's almost a bit like a Gantt chart where you can see, it's, yeah. uh, it's like a waterfall, where you see th this line of operations is dependent on this little operation here and this operation here, so does that help if you were trying to optimize the program as well to shave those extra few seconds off? Yeah, I mean, as a, you, you can, for an example, if you were looking at doing a threading operation that was a long thread, um, you could split that out over two or three spindles, so you reduce the cycle time down. You're not doing a 30 mil thread over one spindle and taking a long time, and that's your longest operation. And trying to imagine that in your head without this visual representation must be a lot harder. You have to think about, oh, I've got to do this operation and that operation, and the part goes looks like this. Yeah. With this, it's so much more visual and a yeah. lot easier to learn. For, for an engineer like me, who, who is, I'm quite a visual learner, it's a great way of representing the, the program. Yeah, and you can see instantly which group of tooling is creating the the longest operation and obviously impact on the on the overall cycle time. Multitasking ease of use, easy to program multitasking machine that fits in a tiny envelope. I've got to say eight spindles, three meter length bar feeders. It's amazing. Check out Tornos, get in touch with David Don from Premier Machine Tools for the UK and Ireland.